Hi there, Simon from SimonWoods.com and Manchester Wine School. I've got a bottle of Muscadet here and it's Le Clos du Chateau Loiselinière and uh, the particular bottling or cuvée La Haye Fouassière. And uh, vintage wise, well, people think of Muscadet as being something that you should drink uh, youngest and freshest. Uh, but the, this this one here is from 2015, and if I look further on the on the back label, one of the reasons that 2015 that is the current vintage um, is because it's had 30 months uh, sitting on the lees uh, in uh, in, a, in its vat before it was bottled, and during that time, uh, the idea is to for it to pick up a little bit of character from the yeast to add to the character that is in the vineyard. So let's see whether they've uh, managed to achieve that. Uh, uh, that idea. Well, the grape that uh, Muscadet is made from uh, Melon de Bourgogne, and sometimes people just call it Muscadet, uh, I think it's related to Chardonnay in some way. It's probably one of those uh, um, grapes, as with many in France, that I think is related to a bit of a slapper of a grape called Gouet Blanc, which seems to have uh, uh, been a parent of a rather too many uh, fine grape varieties. Uh, around France and into other parts of Europe, um, and but if I if if you'd given me that and, to, and said like where's this from, I would have been going towards the Burgundy. It's and I don't know if it's that slightly yeasty, lazy character. Um, it's that um, ever so slight. Uh, hesitate to use the word. It smells of oyster shells because I don't go around smelling of oyster uh, smelling oyster shells. But there is something that is poised and uh, slightly citrusy. Uh, slightly creamy and uh, yeah, it really reminds me of Chablis. Let's see, have a taste. And it really, well, uh, honestly, um, I think if you slept that into a row of Chablis, uh, you would um, be a bit confused uh, because I, I don't think too many people would spot it. Maybe it's not as fruity as a uh, good Chablis at, uh, or a good Premier Cru Chablis, uh, but it's certainly. Uh, weightier and more uh, yeasty and interesting than basic Chablis. So it it's, uh, falls in this nice middle bit. Um, and uh, price-wise, it's probably more uh, Chablis price than uh, the Premier Cru. And uh, I, every time I taste uh, good Muscadet, I always think, like, why, don't I, why don't I drink more of it? And so this is 2015. Uh, it's five years old now, but it's still fresh as a daisy, and uh, I'm really enjoying it. See you soon.